Well, this is where my grandson lay. This truck is in the way, but he was laying in this area. He got shot in the chest and in the back of the head like this, through the head, and he died instantly, they said. He bled out right here. What's it make you think about? I wish I could have been there. Yeah, I just wish I would have been able to hold him. Brenda Longman Yager's grandson, Jake, was just 14 when he died three months ago. Or protect him or take the bullet for him, you know. Three young offenders have been charged with first degree murder. But Jake Longman's death points to a bigger problem in Saskatchewan. Indigenous people here are 13 times more likely to die by homicide than non-Indigenous people. Can a grandmother help change a statistic like that? My Jake was quite a sweetheart. He was so into learning new things. He was a sports fanatic and he was always trying to help other people. He had a big heart. He had a heart of gold as a kid. The police come, they tell you what happened to your grandson. What, what did you do? I thought to myself, okay, I can either go crazy and try to get revenge and become these people. I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to be a one-woman gang. I don't know. But I thought, no, I got to do something positive for my grandson. Okay, uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming. Just weeks after Jake's murder, Brenda started what she calls a grandmother's group to try to stop the violence in Regina. Um, okay, um, the last meeting we talked about our long-term treatment facility due to the fact that the short-term facilities that are crowded, overcrowded, and they have a long wait list. Brenda believes drug addictions are the root of the problem. And since Jake's death, she's had a dream to get a new treatment center built. And Brenda already has one city councillor, Tarina Shaw, on board. And taking, taking this horrible experience, Brenda, that you went through with your grandson being killed and having something good come out of it, I mean, there's no more, we're all fighting for that. I've been pushing for this. Brenda has also managed to get Regina's chief of police, Evan Bray, involved. You know, we do our job as police to try and limit the drugs coming in the community. But really what you're talking about here, Brenda, with your team is finding a way to help people get healthy. I, I applaud the work that your team is doing on, on trying to stress the need for a treatment facility in our community. Getting the committee together, getting the police involved, getting the city council involved, getting the province involved, that's the way we're going to make this difference for you, Brenda. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your group is truly a grassroots community group mm -hmm. of loving family members that have had enough. Uh, Watching Brenda, I can't help wonder about the power of a grandmother with nothing else to lose. My little Jakey. I feel like my grandson is with me, cheering me on. Most days uh, I cry in the mornings and then I get over it, I go on. Evenings, yeah. You cry, then you get to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I pull up my granny pants and I say, okay, let's do this. Let's see what we can achieve today. Brenda's biggest goal is to try to get rid of the violence in her community. And she says she won't be quiet about it any longer, even if it's hard to talk about. Nobody deserves to be killed in a violent manner by these gangs that are probably all hooked on drugs. Do you worry about your safety talking like this? No. No, I'm old. I live my life. You know, I... If I'm not safe, I'm, I don't care. You know, what, what more can they do to hurt me? And I'm not afraid of any of them. The spot where Jake Longman was gunned down is returned to being a parking lot. You'd never even know what happened here. I'd like to put some uh, kind of memorial just to remember him by on the fence there, but, um, I'm, I'm sure it'll get vandalized. 
by the gang members in this area because they, they all live in this area. What do you want people to know about your grandson and what happened to him? I don't want my son, my grandson's life to, you know, his murder to be in vain. You know, and I, 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 and I need help stopping this violence. This place has to be cleaned up. We have other little children living here that need a safe place. They have to be able to walk down the street without being shot at. Nick Purden, CBC News, Regina.